It seems like there are like many components to uh, when you think about religious rituals that seem to inspire um, positive emotions, like the monumental architecture of some religious buildings that inspire awe. Or like you said, music and singing, I mean, that creates positive emotions. And then just the mere fact that you're sharing your emotions with a group of people. Yes. Um, if the emotion that's present at that moment is joy, well, it's going to be communicated to others and increased just, you know, through this communication. So um, that resonance happens yes. there, that, that, that connection, that field of, yeah, of positivity yeah. in those areas. Yeah. So I'm curious, you know, one of the things that religion seems to do so well that is maybe we can learn from is this idea of the rituals, of the patterns of mm -hmm. behavior. What, what, do you, what do you think about that in terms of how your research looks at that question of religious rituals mm -hmm. adding to the well-being? And then how, how do we take what works in that setting and apply it to those who may not go to church or have mm -hmm. a practice in a, in a yeah, faith-based yeah. community. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's something I found, find really fascinating yeah, about religion is, um, first of all, we need to better understand how religion brings well-being. What are the psychological mechanism? Why is religion so good at putting, like, a couple of psychological mechanisms together that create well-being. So we need to better understand that to then be able to export it um, for people who are not going to church. But, you know, like we just said, for example, you know, the music and the singing. So it seems like going to religious rituals, um, there's so many stimulations for those emotions uh, that you get without even, you know, really searching for it. Uh, that you might get on a weekly basis or for some people even more often than that. Um, the good news is that those emotions are not just happening inside a church. Those are emotions that anybody can feel anywhere. So it's just a matter then of creating the conditions um, to feel and experience these emotions even outside of religion or um, a church service. So I think we can learn um, through the lessons, you know, of the research on religion, how to, um, like, what do we need to increase in our daily life? And then up to us to find how to, and, and to set the conditions uh, to have that.